until you have had the taste of finishing, you will not respect yourself. Until you follow through, until something is done, tears and struggles and pain and you go through it anyway and you show up and you continue to fight on no matter the circumstances after a while something begins to wither inside of you every champion has felt it every president has felt it every king has felt it every lion has felt it every winner has felt it every soldier has felt it every victorious person has felt it the urge to quit there's a voice in you that has said i can do this i know others have failed i can do this i know others have said that that i can't do it i've had setbacks in life if you want to make it in life, you've got to make no your vitamin. You've got to know every no brings you a step closer to a yes. Anybody can stop because someone said no. But there's something in you, in your heart of hearts, that's saying, no, I'm not a quitter. There's something in you that says, I've got the will to do it. There's something in you that says, I'm going to find a way. We all get what we tolerate in ourselves and other people. But when you're no longer willing to tolerate something, that's when your life changes. The difference in people is their standards, period. Everyone in the world has a list of things they think they should do. What changes people is when your should becomes a must. There's no losing, there's no failure, and there's no problems, only solutions. So to me what failure is, failure is the mother of all success. If it wasn't for Michael Jordan getting cut from his ninth grade basketball team, he wouldn't have became Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. See, if you're always winning, then you don't really understand what it is to win. You, you gotta take those losses, you gotta take those hits. There's gotta be the valleys, the peaks, the ups, the downs. It's never about making it, guys. It's always about maintaining it. Do you have the courage to act outwardly on what you see inwardly? Or will you die a dreamer? Will you die on the verge and on the edge and in the land of coulda, woulda, and shoulda? I wake up every single day, I am who I say I am, and I get what I get because I live in beast mode. Y'all gotta do me a favor, stop being gazelle. You're not average. There's nothing about you that's average. You're not even good. You were born to be great. You were born to be great. You are a royal priesthood, a chosen generation. You're not average. You're not good. You're great. God created you to be great, so be phenomenal. What I'd like for you to do right now, I want you to think about your dream because I'm in a room full of dreamers. Think about your dream right now. I want you to think about it and envision it. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't ha care how far-fetched it might appear to be. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know, that that dream that you're holding in your mind that it's possible. I would say make a resolution to be a better person now. Make it a resolution of discipline to get better, smarter, faster, stronger, healthier, more productive, less agitated. That resolution of discipline to work and follow through and maintain your will. That'll result in the freedom that you're looking for. Don't be afraid to fail. There's an old IQ test was nine dots. 
and you had to draw five lines with a pencil within these nine dots without lifting the pencil. The only way to do it was to go outside the box. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream as we run toward it, as we work on it day in and day out. And understand that to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You have to work at it. Every day, you have to plan. Every day. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. I'm able to visualize and dream like nobody's business. And I know that I can create a vision that many people can't. And I work for it. So the vision I had was when Apollo Creed beat the fucking shit out of Rocky, beat the shit out of him, he kept fighting. He was a dumb fighter, couldn't read, couldn't write, just punchy everything about him him getting up him getting up Apollo Creed raised his arms up in the air turned around thought he won the fight he turns around and sees this guy getting up and it was the face of Apollo Creed that changed my life I wanted to be that not Rocky I wanted to be the guy that people looked at but said this motherfucker is going to keep coming after whatever the f is in front of him I wanted that so I kept picturing me falling down and getting up and I wanted to feel something besides defeat. If you want to make your dream become reality, the people that are running at their dreams know that it's possible that you can live your dream. The people that are living their dream are finding winners to attach themselves to. The people that are living their dreams are the people that know that it's, if it's going to happen, it's up to them. And they're resolving within themselves, it's not over until I win. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The people that are running after their dreams are the people that are hungry. If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for, to work day and night for, Give up your time, your peace, and your sleep. If all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it, and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, if neither cold, poverty, famish, or gulf, sickness of pain of body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want, with the help of God, you'll get it. I want to introduce y'all to this very simple concept. If you want it, you gotta go get it. When it feels scary to jump, that is exactly when you jump. Otherwise, you end up staying in the same place your whole life. And that I can't do. Fear is not real. The only place that fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is a product of our imagination causing us to fear things that do not at present and may not ever exist. Easy choices, hard life. Hard choices, easy life. The hard choices, what we most fear doing, asking, saying, these are very often exactly what we most need to do. Don't be afraid to reinvent yourself and don't be afraid to be different, man. You ain't got to fit in the crowd. I tell my sons all the time. 
Why are you following everybody when you were clearly meant to lead? It's always better to just do your thing. And I don't care what situation you done got your life in, you can turn your life around because it ain't ever too late. See, the key is you can't ever give up. Those times when you get up early and you work hard, those times when you stay up late and you work hard, those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. That is actually the dream. That's the dream. It's not the destination, it's the journey. It's very important that you engage in an ongoing process to develop you. Spend more time on yourself than what you've been spending. Working on yourself, talking to yourself, overcoming the negative conversation, that inner dialogue is going on all the time, all the time. Even when you don't want it to be there, you can't stop yourself right now from thinking. You can't do it. Dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. So have dreams, but have goals, life goals, yearly goals, monthly goals, daily goals. In order to achieve your goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You have to work at it every day. You have to plan every day. Hard work works. I don't care where you come from. I don't care where you were raised. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what gender you are. I don't care about any of that shit. If you do the work consistently, if you invest in yourself consistently, one plus one is always going to equal two. Ten years of motherfucking work when everybody else is partying, making excuses, doing the cool thing on the weekend is going to pay off. You can do this. A lot of folk won't let you forget what you used to do or what you have done, what mistakes you've made. All of us have made some mistakes in life. All of us have done some things that if we had them to do over again, we wouldn't do it again. A lot of things that if I had it to do over again, if I knew then what I know now, I would have done it differently. Well, it didn't happen that way. See, life is not just that simple. It's not that cut and dry. And that's why most people never realize their personal greatness because they're casual about life. And when you are casual about life, you will end up a casualty. What I need you to do is I need you to find a reason to keep going. And if you can find a reason to keep going, I know you're strong enough to do it because you're human. And every human has what it takes to get past whatever they're going through. If they decide to push through it, push through it. Tragedy and trials come to everybody. Only the strong survive. Practice and practice and practice. Practice makes improvement. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. You never hit a state of perfection. You're always bigger than what you do. Don't go around telling people what your story is. Everybody has a story. 80% don't care and 20% glad it's you. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is what are you going to do about it? A lot of people want to be successful, but they want to go to the club on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday, and then on Monday, they're getting outperformed by everybody in the fucking office and they're wondering, why don't I get the raise in the promotion? Shut your fucking ass up. That's why, man. Get to work. You have to start living your life in expectation. You have got to start expecting great things to happen for you in order for it to happen. If you live your life in expectations, that's what happens to you. If you live your life in despair, that's what happens to you. The moment you change the frequency that your tower emits, different things come back to you. If you change your attitude, you change your altitude. You will have good days and you'll have bad days, but you will always learn something more or something new and you will learn more overall on bad days than good days. The time is now. The time is now to express and for people to believe in themselves. The time is now for it to be okay to be great. People in this world shun people for being great, for being a bright color, for standing out. But the time is now to be okay, to be the greatest you. You can't read somebody else's book about 
some theory on how to do shit. Some guy who sat up in their nice warm office and wrote some book with a nice cup of coffee in the fucking hand. No, I want to see that guy who immersed himself in fucking hell. And he thought about quitting and leaving and his wife and his kids. And why am I here? Is it worth it? All this crazy shit. And found out a way to get through it. He who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. I was willing to die doing something that I love. So if you're willing to die to do something that you love, 99% of the time you're going to come out on top. I don't let people tell me what I can and can't do. It won't happen. Don't do this, don't do that. Okay, whatever. Like, it don't matter what they say. Whatever you believe, you go for it. And you gotta understand, before you succeed, you must first learn to fail. Like, if you fail one or two times, and you stop pursuing your dream, you ain't ready anyway. You know, a lot of us are going through a hard time in life. Some people have been bullied, some people are just stressed out, some people are insecure, some people are fat and overweight. And the world puts a lot of this shit in your mind. It's not just you, yeah, you help it. And my whole thing is about, I had to develop a mindset, a mindset that was indestructible. I had to armor plate my mind. When you have nothing is when you need to give. You know, if you're gonna wait till you think you have something, you're never gonna have something of any size or scope. There's something inside the human psyche that when you do what's right and you get outside of yourself, there's something that'll click for you. Learn to work with the people who deserve it, not the people who need it. Because that's the way life works. Life doesn't respond to what we need. Life responds to what we deserve. It doesn't say if you need a harvest, you'll get one. It says, no, if you plant in the spring, you'll get a harvest in the fall. Life, people emulate the end result, not the process. They, the end result is what they see and they emulate that. Before Kobe scored that 61, that day he was practicing. Practice his whole life. Are you willing to put in that sort of commitment? Are you willing to practice the whole life? When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do. It's what we do now. Because to get to where you wanna go, the amount of pain involved, the amount of mental pain, of how many times you're gonna have to do something that you don't want to do to get to where you want to go. There's gonna be more times you do something that you don't wanna do than you are gonna wanna do. And that's your new norm. And then once you do this over and over and over again, it becomes like breathing. I don't wanna live this lifestyle, but to get to the other side of this, I have to. We have two primary choices in life. We can either accept conditions as they exist, or we can take the responsibility to change them. See, a lot of people want to exempt themselves from taking responsibility. All they want to do is talk about the problem. Every time you see them, they'll tell you their story over and over and over and over again. No, no. You want to take responsibility for your life. I got me here, I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. You see people who do big things and you automatically say, that guy's so lucky, she's so lucky. You don't know that, you're assuming that. Going to work every day for 20 years and grinding your ass off and then becoming a multimillionaire, that's not luck, that's action and reaction. Quit using the word luck, quit believing in luck and start believing in work. Start believing in results that come from your actions. When that alarm clock goes off, there's at least 50% of the time where you just, that soft little pillow is just caressing your head and you want to stay there. And it takes discipline to go, nope, I'm going to get up out of this bed and I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. Everyone in the world has a list of things they think they should do. I should lose weight. I should work out. I should spend more time with my kids. I should work harder. I should make more calls. I should, I should, I should, I should. And then you know what? People don't do their shoulds and they get mad at themselves and they what I call shit all over themselves. They beat themselves up about it. What changes people is when your should becomes a must. When suddenly the thing you said should happen has to happen. That's when human beings change. If you want to be great, you want to be the baddest mother ever at what you do, you're going to be misunderstood by everybody because you're going to be so 
obsessed and so driven to get there. That's what it takes. It takes every second of your life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of people. It is. But if you want to go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, question everything you do, you've arrived. When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. Here's the truth. This is the reality. Nobody's going to believe in you until you've already done it. Nobody's going to come and celebrate with you until you've already done it. The work is going to come before the belief, which means you're going to have to work for a long time by yourself with no applause, with no awards, with nobody telling you good job. And then once you start to build something and people start to see the momentum and they start to see the result and you start doing some things, then you're going to get a little belief. And then what's going to happen is you're going to believe. And then what's going to happen? You're going to go do a little bit more work and a little bit more work. The results are going to come more. More people are going to believe. Nobody f***ing believes in you because you haven't done anything. That's the reality. When you quit, your mind says we're done. So it doesn't expand. There's no expansion when you quit. I'm drowning, I'm miserable, I'm suffering, I'm broken, but I'm not going anywhere. What happens to your mind, it says he's not leaving. So we gotta expand, we gotta grow. We gotta figure this thing out. So then these compartments in your brain, they have to work. And then you start to engage parts of your mind that you never engaged before when you're in suffer mode and you say, I'm not gonna quit. You're forcing your brain now to operate on a level it's not used to, but then it becomes used to it. Spend your whole life imagining ghosts, worrying about the pathway to the future, but all there will ever be is what's happening here and the decisions we make in this moment, which are based in either love or fear. So many of us choose our path out of fear disguised as practicality. What we really want seems impossibly out of reach and ridiculous to expect, so we never dare to ask the universe for it. I'm saying I'm the proof that you can ask the universe for it. You've lived a life dominated by doubt and fear. How do you step into bravery? Step. That's how you step into bravery. Step. Take the step. Step aggressively towards your fear. And that, that step towards your fear is the step into bravery. Because we're scared of what we don't know. And there is only one way to learn and to know and that is to confront that fear. There's a concept that I don't want to be uh, an, an icon. I want to be an idea, you know? I want to represent an idea. I want to represent possibilities. I want to represent magic, right? That you're in a universe and two plus two equals four. Two plus two only equals four if you accept that two plus two equals four. Two plus two is going to be what I want it to be. You know, and like there's a there's a, a redemptive power that making a choice has, you know, rather than feeling like you're at a effect to all the things that are happening. Make a choice. Like you just decide what it's gonna be, who you're gonna be, how you're gonna do it. Just decide. I was concerned about going out into the world and doing something bigger than myself until someone smarter than myself made me realize that there is nothing bigger than myself. You are ready and able to do beautiful things in this world. And after you walk through those doors today, you will only ever have two choices, love or fear. Choose love and don't ever let fear turn you against your playful heart. The most important conversation is the one you have with yourself. You wake up with it, you walk around with it, you go to bed with it. Eventually, you act on it. Sometimes you act on it good, sometimes bad. You gotta change the internal dialogue. That person in your head that's talking that sh to you, until you change the internal dialogue in your head, until you callous over the victim's mentality that the world is out to get you because of you are the only, 
You gotta change that shit, man. Do you have the courage? I'm, I'm gonna drop something on you. It takes courage to be successful. It is far easier not to be successful. Purpose, and reason, and cause are extremely important. This is, this is the why of your actions. This is knowing why you're doing what you're doing. This is the commander's intent. If you don't know why you're doing something, you gotta know, if, if you don't know why you're doing something, then what, what are you gonna do when you hit an obstacle? You're gonna stop. What adaptations are you gonna make when things go wrong to overcome them? So if you have no reason, if you have no reason for doing something, you're not gonna do it. So you gotta have a long-term goal. You gotta understand the underlying purpose of what you're doing. Always go to something bigger than yourself. Are you not guilty of immersing yourself into things that were too small to hold your vision? My problem is so many times you've thrown big ideas at small people. You have to want something so big that it wakes you up in the middle of the night. You have to want something so big that you think about it all the time. You have to want something so big that it drives you to wake up when you don't want to. It keeps you up at night when you've long been sleepy. It makes you show up, do things you wouldn't normally do. It requires extra. Be calm when things are going well, be calm. Don't think you're on top of the world in mm -hmm. the sense you gotta be chill. Just take what's good in your life and move forward cautiously and carefully. Losing in life is so important. Whether it's getting dumped, getting fired, losing a game, those feelings where things didn't work out your way, that's important because it lets you know this is the bad feeling that comes when it goes wrong and you improve and then it makes the good feelings of victory all the better. The hardest thing to do, the hardest thing to deal with, the hardest thing to manage the hardest thing to put up with is transition. The thing we hate the most is transition. We hate it because it takes us out of our element. It takes us out of our comfort zone. It takes us out of the place where we are secure and sure. And we've learned how to manage and control everything. You cannot control everything when you are in transition. The man who loves walking will walk further than the man who loves the destination. And when you love the journey, the goals just happen. You hit milestones as a side effect. Because it doesn't matter. At that point, I don't care if I can lift this much weight or run this fast. I mean, that's cool, but I don't love it as much as I love the journey. I love the journey. What does the journey consist of? Sucking at something, failing, getting better, learning, start it over, do it again. When you fall in love with the journey, everything else takes care of itself. Average person only spends 20% of their time doing the thing that they are really gifted at, created at, passionate about telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. You can do what you put your mind to, and if you continue to put your mind to it, the game opens up new levels. And each new level that gets opened up, you're able to adapt a different mindset and a different approach. You can stop at that level, or you can go, I want more levels. I want more fucking levels. You can decide that you're gonna stand up to life. You can decide that I'm gonna live each day as if it were my last. Some of you are so worried about the threat of trouble. You're not in trouble, it's just that trouble has threatened you. And the threat of what might happen, what could happen, it's wearing you down. Half of the things that you thought were going to happen never did happen. But if you allow those thoughts to dwell in your mind, it will succeed at robbing you of your peace, robbing you of your joy, robbing you of your life just because you thought yourself into a nervous breakdown. You thought yourself into depression. You thought yourself into defeatism. You want it. 
and you're going to go all out to have it. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. Understand that doing the opposite of what most people do is what's going to lead to the to most success in your life in general terms. So when you see everybody else working to make their life easier, more convenient, less frustrating, basically looking to cut all the hard things out of their life, look at the rest of their life. That should be an indication to you that maybe you need to look at life a little bit different. When you really get after something, listen to me, total immersion in something, you can become unbelievably proficient at it. You'll get unbelievable at getting people to believe you believe it. You will be loaded with certainty from product knowledge to belief to skills, and you'll be completely immersed with, I believe, no B plan. No other plan, no nothing out, completely immersed in it. Aside from dunking a basketball or hitting a 100 mile an hour fastball, these are things that are limitations to human beings. But average ordinary people every single day succeed in the business of persuading people. There is no limitation to you being able to do it except those things. Good fighter is not necessarily the greatest fighter that ever lived. It's what, where you want to go. You know what I mean? Um, a good fighter is just to be diligent and committed and disciplined, doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. You know, always testing yourself and forcing yourself to the limits. And one of the things that I see people do is they don't understand that you should actually be seeking out the proper obstacles that are going to teach you the lesson and embrace them so that you can be better. Because, dude, we could talk about and whine about and cry about everything in our lives, but there's only one thing that's going to change it, and that's actually taking action towards the place that you want to go. What you put in will produce the output. There's so many individuals out there that are so talented in different things that never accomplish anything. Okay, the world is filled with talented people. You know a lot of them yourselves. Okay, and they never accomplish anything. With talent has to come preparation, has to come action, has to come development of being able to take those talents, take those skills, continue to develop them, continue to sharpen them physically, continue to sharpen them mentally, because at some point, your physical talent is going to diminish as a professional athlete. That's just a fact, okay? But what keeps that competitive edge, what keeps you on top is the ability to think and prepare mentally over and over and over again. The body has limitations, the mind does not. We focus so much on what goes on from the neck down that we forget it all starts from here. Everything starts from there. If you're not mentally ready, you're never really physically prepared. And that's where the preparation starts. I firmly believe that everybody in this room, everybody on this planet, has a gift. It's your job to figure out what that gift is. So when you see a, a situation that's difficult and you see a situation that you know other people don't want to do, you should maybe be the person who steps up to that and says, dude, I'm willing to do that because I learned this. I'm willing to take on that because I'm willing to get the skill. Um, I'm going to endure this adversity because I know it's going to make me stronger. All right, so look at these as an opportunity for you to grow as opposed to something that you should run away from because it's going to be difficult. This is something that champions and successful people, people who are great at what they do and live great lives that bring other people up do automatically. Embrace your adversity and look for opportunities to get better and grow.